horrific limousine crash in upstate New York. 20 people were killed on Saturday afternoon. This makes this the deadliest car crash in recent U.S. history. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live in studio with an update. Well, the Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where this crash happened about three hours from Providence in the town of Schoharie, less than an hour from Albany. That's where the National Transportation Safety Board will be picking up day two of its investigation. Now, a GO team arrived yesterday morning and will remain on scene for several days to document the scene. The board says it won't be speculating or determining a cause of the crash while it's here. But New York State Police did say as the limo approached the intersection in question, it blew through a stop sign. It caused that limo to hit a parked car which then struck and killed two pedestrians nearby. The limo driver and all 17 adult passengers were also killed. 20 fatalities is just horrific. I've been on the board for, for 12 years, and uh, this is one of the biggest losses of life, loss of lives that we've seen uh, in a long, long time. The identities of the victims are not being released until autopsies are complete and all families notified. However, some family, uh, victims' family members have already come forward. We'll have that reaction for you coming up at 5.30. Reporting live in studio, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.